Okay, we're back here, and let's see here. This is video number two. Um, my software is not working, so I can't actually put this these two videos together. So uh, unfortunately, this is the way I'm going to have to do it, folks. All right, this is a hundred francs, 1968 to 1997. Um, now this is from the French Pacific Territories, 500 francs, 1992, um, and a thousand francs from 1988. Okay, now we get into the German. Um, the first part of the German ones here are what are called not gelds. Um, these are uh, notes that were printed by uh, um, local municipalities in Germany. Um, and these notes were pr primarily used in those municipalities, um, like Dresden, or, uh, Berlin, uh, Essen, Hamburg, uh, Heidenheim. Dusseldorf, wherever. Okay, um, this one here is a ten fennec, nineteen twenty one. This one is a twenty fennec. Uh, come on, get into focus. There we go. Uh, twenty fennec from nineteen twenty. Um, this one here is fifty fennec, uh, nineteen seventeen, and this one is from Cologne. Um, and then this one here is a fifty fennec. Okay, and then you can kind of see on the back here. And I tried to put some of the city names, but some of these <laughs> may not have this, uh, the townships' names, uh, but some of them do. Okay, here we have another 50 Fennig. Um, this one here is from Erti. Um, this one is another 50 Fennig from Berlin. And another 50 Fennig from Berlin, okay. Um, this one's 1920, 1920, 1921. Okay, and then this one here is for another 50 Fennec from uh, 1922. And I really like these notes because they just kind of remind me of those old style fairy tale books um, that I had when I was a kid. Although I lived in Germany for a short period of time when I was a kid, um, so... And then here we have a 75 Fennig um, from Tetero. Uh, uh, this one doesn't have a year mark on it. I think this one is from like 1922 though. Here we have one mark, 1914. And this one is one mark, uh, or ein mark, or sorry, ein mark, <laughs> um, from 1922. And then here's another one. This one is a, a APC. Um, printed by the United States when we started to occupy parts of Germany and issued to uh, American GIs to use in the uh, economy instead of U.S. dollars. Uh, this one is from 1944. Uh, there we go. This one here is well used. It's just got a ton of folds. This one here, uh, you can see right here in the corners of uh, some kind of sticky material. Somebody stuck it in a photo album or something of that nature. Um, and, of course, the most of these German ones are from on my mother's side of the family. Because uh, she was born and raised in Germany. And she met my dad while he was in the army over there. And one thing led to another. There you go. Um, here's another one. Uh, this one's from 1948. This one's one mark. Five marks again, APC. And then here we get into the post-World War I when the economy was getting really bad. This is a five million mark from 1923. And then here from West Germany, we have a five mark note from 1960. There we go. You can see that some of these notes are really well used, folded, circulated. All right. Again, Germany. This one is a 20 mark note uh, from 1910. Really battered. And then this one's a 20,000 marks from 1923. You just kind of see how well battered this really is. Okay. 
Another German notes. Um, here we get a 50 Reichsmark from 1933. Uh, 1,000 mark from 1922. And a 20 million mark from 1923. Inflation really hit hard in 1923, that's for sure. And then here we have... Um, it was a 500 million mark from 1923. Nothing really on the back. And these notes, some of these notes are so big that I can't even put them in regular plastic. So I just stuck them in a, a really thick um, Ziploc bag. These are 4 mil Ziploc bags and then I just stuck them in these. So here we got a 10,000 mark from 1922. And here we have another 10,000 mark from 1922. Um, this one is the exact same one as the one I just previously showed you, just larger. Okay. And then here we have a 1,000 note from 1910. Really nice note circulated so unfortunately and then this another one almost identical the, the previous one of course had green ink on it this one has red it's the only difference between the two red or green okay and then here we have um, a 100,000 mark note And then here I have two East German notes, uh, 20 mark 1975 and a 50 mark from 1971. This one's really well used. This one's uh, also circulated but in better shape. Um, here we have 50 drachmas from or drachmas from uh, uh, 1964 and another 50 from 1941. Here are the backs. Come on, get back in there. And then here we have more Greek. Uh, this is 100 drachmas from uh, 1978 and 200 from... Uh, sorry, I forgot what year this one. I think this one's from 1944, if I remember right. Um, here we have uh, from Hungary. Uh, this is uh, 24 int from 1957. And the next note I'm going to show you I really, really like... Um, and it is also from Hungary. Uh, but there you go. Get that into focus there. This is a really beautiful note. Um, this one here is a 100 Pango from 1930. So pre-communist in Hungary. Um, but very beautiful note. Hong Kong, $10. And then Hong Kong, uh, one cent. Uh, one with uh, King George and Queen Elizabeth II there. Here, here is the back of that Hungarian one. Really beautiful note. Um, Hong Kong. This is a polymer note. And there you go on the backs of those. Nothing there. Okay. Indonesia. We have uh, one sen. And all these are from 1964. Uh, five sen, ten sen and 25 cent and the backs are pretty much all pretty much similar in looks okay and then the next two are going to be in sequential order here we have 50 cent and then we have uh, uh, 100 uh, rupiah and another 100 rupiah they're both basically the same note 
Uh, this one's, they're both from 1984. Here's the back, and you can kind of, you, know, you can see the numbers. They are in sequential order. These two are, however, are not. Okay. And then again, another Indonesia. This is a 100 rupiah. Uh, and then here we have a 1,000 rupiah. Then we get into Iraq. Um, this one is one dinar from 1992, and then 100 dinar from 2001. Here are the backs. Some more Iraq notes. Um, five dinar, 1992. Five dinar, 1980. And then 10 dinar, 1980. And then one last Iraqi note here 250 dinar from 2002. This is uh, 1,000 shekels from Israel. This is roughly 1978 to 84. And then here we get into Italy. This is also another APC note printed by the United States when we uh, successfully forced uh, Italy to surrender, and then they changed sides. Um, this is series 1943A. And then here's some more Italy. I believe this one is a bus pass. I've been in Italy um, in when I was in the Navy, uh, mostly around Naples and La Maddalena and Sardinia. Uh, here we have a 100 lira. I believe this is a bus pass. Um, here we have 10 lira uh, from 1944. Oh, this one's from 1976 anyway, and another one from 1944. And then we have a 1,000 lira note from 1969. And here are the backs of those. And these ones being 1944. Um, you know, I guess kind of with the fascist government. <laughs> anyway, these ones here I brought back with me from Italy. Here we have another 1,000 lira note, 1982. Uh, 1,000 lira note. 1990. So both of these notes were in circulation at the time I was there. Same with this one here, 2,000 lira and a 5,000 lira. So there's the back there. So yeah, these are all circulated. There, I'm not going to have anything that's in uncirculated condition. Okay. Here we have um, a 10,000 lira note, really badly battered. Um, that's from 1984. Then we get into Jamaica. Uh, 1985, uh, $1. 1986, $1. And 1993, $2 bill. Uh, these two here are in uncirculated condition. This one here is in circulated condition. So there are the backs there. I really like the colors on, that one, on those $1 bills. And we have some more Jamaica, $50 note, $100 note, and then we get into the Japanese occupation notes. Okay, and this one is a, a one cent note uh, for Burma, and then this one here is a one half rupee from Burma. And here we get the backs of the Jamaican notes, and then the backs of the Japanese occupation notes. And this is the last page of this book here. Here we have 50 centavos. Uh, these are from the Philippines. When the J Japanese had control of the Philippines. Here we have 5 pesos. Oh, this one's from 1942. This is from 1942. And 10 pesos from 1943. Or, sorry, 42. Um, and then another 10 pesos here from 1943. And here are the backs. That 5 pesos has been well used. Um, and the two here, this one is circulated, but this one is uncirculated. So, 
Alright, and that's the first book. And yes, I do have another book. So we'll go ahead and just move these over. Okay. And we will bring in the second book here. Alright. Now, okay, we continue here with the Japanese occupation. This one here is uh, $100 from Malaysia. Come on, focus in. I think it's focused. And then these two here, of course, are APCs printed by the United States. Uh, when we occupied Japan, these ones here are from 1946. Um, and they are $0.10 and $0.50. Cent. And then here's a Japanese 10 yen note from uh, 1946. And there's the back of that one there. There's the back of those two. And then the 10 yen. Okay, more Japanese. So we have here 10 sen. This one's from 1944. A 50 sen from 1942, another 50 sen from 1943, and a 50 sen from 1938. So, World War II, pre World War II. Uh, depending on what year you want to consider World War II started. Uh, 1937 with the Japanese invasion of China, or 1939 with Germany's invasion of Poland. So, um, there we go. And we have here Jordan. Um, this is one half dinar from 1995. And then uh, one ruble, 1993, from uh, Kazakhstan. Okay, these ones here are all from Kazakhstan. Uh, five ruble, 1993, and ten ruble, 1993. So post communism there. Okay, another Kazakhstan, 20 rubles, 1993. This is from Kenya. Uh, ten, uh, ah, ooh, sorry, 10 shilling, or shilling, uh, kumi, 1992. I probably murdered that. Uh, South Korea, 10 won, uh, 1962. And South Korea, 1,001. And no date, really. And there's the backs of those. All right, next page here. Here we have from North Korea, uh, one won from 1978 and five won from 1978 also. Then we have a Kuwaiti, one quarter dinar from 1994, and then this one's from Laos, one kip from 1962. Okay. And we have again Laos, um, 50 kip, 1970, 5 kip, 1962. And then here I have another Japanese occupation note. Um, this one here is from Burma, 1942 to 44. And then here we get into Latvia, uh, one rubly. Come on, focus in. Focus in. I'm always having problems with focusing. There we go. My autofocus doesn't want to work sometimes. 1992, uh, one rubly, two rubly, 1992, five rubly. And then here we've got one from Lebanon. Um, it's five uh, livres, 1964. And then here we've got on top here Lithuania, uh, one, one Talanas, 1991. Here, some of my favorite notes here uh, Mexico. Um, this one here is uh, from the Bank of Chihuahua, or the state of Chihuahua. Um, this is a 10 pesos, 1913. 
And then here's a same, another one from the same bank, one peso from 1914. Oh, really nice notes, I think. Uh, and more from Mexico. Here's a one peso note, 1961, 1969, five pesos, 1954. This one is a really beautiful note. And then another five pesos from 1971. Okay. Ten pesos, 1961. 20 pesos 1977, 50 pesos 1981, and 1,000 pesos 1984. Really interesting to see how inflation really went in Mexico between 81 and 84 there. Here we have from uh, Mongolia, 5 Tagrog, uh, roughly about 1993 to 2009 this note was issued. 5 Togrog again um, from uh, 1981, 10 Togrog from 1993 to 2009, and then uh, Myanmar, uh, 1 Kayat, 1996. Uh, there are the backs of those. Okay. Now the next one I think is out of sequence, but that's the only way I could do it. <laughs> Uh, these are really big notes. This one here is from Czechoslovakia, um, 1961. Uh, this one here is 100 Karun. Then Mozambique, um, 50 Escudos from 1976. And 100 Escudos from 1961. Okay. Here we have Myanmar again. This one here is a uh, 10 Kayat. Um, and then 50 uh, Pias, I think it's pronounced. And then here's Nepal 1 Reel, 1974. Oh, this one's 1994. And then this one here is 1996. And the backs of those. And then we get into... Um, the Netherlands, this one here um, is a, a one gulden note, but this is also printed by the United States in 1943 as we were, you know, getting ready to uh, uh, do the invasion of uh, France, uh, Normandy and all this stuff. This money was printed by the United States to give the Allied troops uh, to spend over there. Um, I had another one that was a... a uh, two golden. It was a green note, I believe it was, um, and I took it to a U.S. military museum because it it had all these signatures on it from American GIs from World War II um, and their unit. Um, so I got I got I just donated that to a U.S. military museum. Um, this is from New Zealand, one dollar, of course, nineteen sixty seven. New Zealand, one dollar, nineteen eighty one. And there's the backs of those. Okay. And then New Zealand again. Two dollars. Uh, 1981. Uh, Ten centavos from Nicaragua. 1990. And uh, 50 uh, Cordobas from 1985. And there's just the backs of those. That's a really nice note. Here we have from uh, Nigeria, uh, 50 Naira, I believe that's how it's pronounced, 1984. And then here we have Norway, 10 Kroner from 1982. And then Oman, this is a uh, 100 uh, Biza from 1995. <clears throat> Pardon me, I almost started losing my voice there. And then we've got 
come into Peru. Here we have 10 inches um, 1987, 50 inches from 1987, and 500 from 1987. Most of these notes are uncirculated. Here I have a 10 inches from 1987. Come on. Alright, there we go. Focus in. 100 solas sola, uh, de oro, 1975. And here we have another one from Chihuahua, uh, Mexico, uh, 20 pesos from 1914. And then we get into. All right, well, here's another one, Peru, uh, 1,000 solas de, uh, de oro, 1979. Then we get into the Philippines. <clears throat> so here's 10 centavos from 1949. And then this one here, this is what they call an emergency note. This one <clears throat> was actually issued in 1942, after the Japanese had invaded uh, uh, parts of the Philippines. Um... There were 12 provinces in the Philippines, and the Japanese really only controlled four of them. So some of these notes were still printed even after the Japanese occupation of those four provinces. Uh, this is 1942, like I said, and they were emergency notes uh, that Filipinos could still utilize. That's uh, 50 centavos. And here I have... Uh, one peso note, 1941. One peso, uh, this is what they call the victory notes, uh, 1944. Another victory note, 1944. And then this one here is a one peso from 1949. And there you go. We've got victory on the back. And then, of course, in 1949, they changed their back. All right. <clears throat> Here we got another one peso note from 1949. This one here is a two peso victory note, 1942. And then this, these next two are two peso, uh, 1978. And there's the victory right there. And then the two pesos. Here we have five peso, and here's another one of those uh, emergency notes, ten pesos, um, the uh, Philippine National Bank. This one here um, was issued in December of 1941, right after Pearl Harbor bombing and uh, the start of the invasion of the Philippines. And then this one here is ten peso uh, from 1995. And then 100 peso from 1978. And we'll get back here. My camera is shutting down again, so I'll be right back for the third video.